wanted me to <laughs> and that's 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 a lot of it she means she wanted me to have my independence more than I think I did and it took a lot of convincing for me to actually decide to do it but I mean she's right she said wouldn't you like to take your own showers and and do all those things you've been complaining about and I said yes you're right but you know, like I said, after what I what I was through, I figured a little more is not going to hurt anything, and uh, you know, to be able to touch again, feel again, grasp again, uh, is all, you know, all going to be well worth it. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. You know, you told me you weren't going to fast pitch again, but I'm not so sure. No, I'm not. <laughs> Yeah, you know, like, like the cooking and, the, and even uh, cleaning and uh, stuff like that. Like I said before, changing a light bulb, you know. I won't have to wait for her to get home for work, say, and burn out light. Things you take, take for granted, I'll be able to do. The changing of the clay, you know, I could still do that, but it just took forever. The first thing we usually start out every day is we do some um, manual edema moves to try to get some of the swelling down, um, which is a light gentle massage to try to get the lymphatic system to go and get some of that drainage out of his arms. Uh, then we do a lot of stretching, range of motion type things. Some strengthening and ranging of his shoulders because they got really weak by laying in bed for a very long time. Um, and then we just do general range of motion with what he has actively. Um, and then we do a lot of eye hand coordination type things, a little bit of sensory stimulation. He has some feeling in the very end of his arm, um, down where the scar is. So we do a little bit of um, stimulation there to try to get those nerves to feel and regenerate and for the brain to register what it's feeling and to try to take control of his hands again. Almost done. Fifty. It's less than a minute. <coughs> Five would be almost done. He's come very far. His swelling has gone down tremendously in the last few months. Uh, he's starting to get feeling. He had no feeling initially, and he's starting to get feeling very um, distally on his forearm, which means further down by the elbow. Uh, he's doing very well with uh, eye-hand coordination. As you can see, when he tosses the ball back and forth, he's doing very good with his accuracy and control. He's also using something called the tenodesis motion, where when naturally, when we pull our wrist back, our fingers curl, and when we pull our wrist forward, our fingers straighten, and he's using that to be more functional, and that's what you see with the cone stacking. It's going to be great because I'll, I'll be able to reach out and touch and hug and, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm anxious to touch my, my, you know, my daughter's face. You know, to interact in that way will be, will be, will be a big, big deal. No, she really hasn't. She's just more anxious for me to, to, to get with her, you know, I play games with her, things I couldn't, you know, the Wii. She's big to be able to do that with her and, and uh, do things, you know, miniature golfing. That I, you know, sat by the sidelines and watched. And she's anxious for me to get in there now, do things with her instead of just watching. <laughs>